Now to understand how to do classification using the fully connected layers, let me give you a very simple example. Let's say I want to take, an, take a small patch of an image and identify whether it has a horizontal line or a vertical line. This I want to do using the fully connected layers. Now what I have to do is, I need one, one filter in my fully connected layer which can identify if the image has a horizontal line. And I need one more filter uh, to identify if it has a vertical line. So this is something similar to what we are doing in the edge detection case. Instead of de detecting all the edges, I just want to detect whether there is a horizontal line or a vertical line. Or in other words, horizontal edge or a vertical edge. So to do that, let me take this uh, small image. It is a, it is just a 3 by 3 pixel image and it has a horizontal line in between. And uh, if I represent the same thing in terms of the pixel, uh, pixel grid, that is uh, 3 pixels in each row, it will look like this. The top row has uh, 3 pixels and all the pixels are white. The second row has uh, all 3 bl black pixels. And again the bottom row has 3 white pixels. Now let me represent the pixel intensity values uh, as shown here. I, will, I chose a pixel intensity value of 10 for the white pixel. It should have actually been 225, 255. But uh, choosing 10 will make the calculation easier. And for a black pixel, let me choose a pixel intensity value of 0. Now to do the fully connected layer computations, I need to stretch this out, stretch this image out to a 1D vector. So this is how it will look. These are the first row elements, second row and third row elements. These are the filters that I chose to detect uh, horizontal and vertical edges respectively. Now if I do the dot product of uh, this filter with this uh, vector, then I get a value of 40. And uh, if I do the dot product of this filter with this vector, I'll get a value of 0. Now to uh, finally decide, I just need to see which is the highest of these two values. In this case, 40 is a higher value. So that's how I conclude that this image has a horizontal edge. Now let me take another example, another image, uh, which is again 3 by 3 patch, but this time it has a uh, vertical edge right in between. And uh, I'll do the same computation here. This is how I'll get the pixel intensity values. I'll stretch it out and do the computations. And this time, this is the higher value of these two, these two outputs. And so I conclude that this image has a vertical edge. This is how by I can use different kinds of filters and uh, extract different properties from the image and then I can do the classification using the output of the fully connected layer. So that's the basics behind during uh, doing the classification. So let me slightly uh, change the problem. Now what I will do is, in the third case, this is how the image looks. It has a big horizontal line, but just one uh, small vertical line. If I do the computations for this image, what I will get is I'll get a value of 30 and 10. Here again, the uh, higher value of these two is 30. And uh, that's how I conclude that this image has a horizontal line. But here you can see that since th this value is not uh, 0, uh, I can't just uh, straight away conclude that this image has only a horizontal line. It also looks like having a partial vertical line. So that way by looking at these outputs can have more insights in how, how the image is looking. But uh, there can be cases for example if your image is uh, looking like this a plus sign where both the horizontal and vertical edges are equal in length then the filter outputs of both horizontal and vertical filters will be same 20 and 20. So here it becomes difficult for me to conclude or classify this image as either horizontal or vertical. The probability of this image being horizontal and vertical is both same that is 50%. And on the same lines here it's uh, I can't say with 100% uh, surety that it's a horizontal line this image is a horizontal line. Instead, my probability is still high since there is a lot of gap between these two values, but it's not 100%. So that's the case with the third image. But in the first and second cases, you can say with 100% confidence that this image is that of a horizontal line and here it's that of a vertical line. So when I'm doing the classification, it's not only important for me to identify which of these two values is uh, higher, I also need to know the confidence level in my production. That is, am I 100% sure that uh, uh, it's either horizontal or vertical or my percentage varies some, somewhat in between. Having even this confidence scores help me do the classification in a much better way. For example, I can put a confidence score threshold of uh, say 60 or 70 percent and I will only accept the cases that are uh, having scores that are more than this. So what I actually want to know is not only the correct answer to the question but also I want to know the confidence score in my prediction. That is, what is the probability that the prediction is correct? I also want to know this value. 
So how do I get the uh, confidence scores? 